Hello everyone, this is Rin and Mama from Blessing by Design. In this part two of our new traditional versus paperless student series, we're going to compare the usability between the older, older, traditional paper planners and the modern digital planners. Today we're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to do a duel. Mama is going to be on the paper planner that we bought and I'll be on my iPad with our highlighter academic digital planner. If you're interested in this digital planner, I'll leave a link in the description box. First, before we get started, we just want to make clear we're not calling out any specific brand or product. We are just comparing different planners, the old versus the new. Yes. Then next, we're going to compare how easy it is to add a template page from the back of the planner to the desired month. This will allow you to see the difference in time and difficulty between the different types of planners. Finally, we will compare the difference in time when you're writing out the plans for the day. This will include changing colored pens and also highlighting certain parts of the to-do list. And we are both going to write down the same schedule. Exactly. That way we can accurately test the difference in time. So let's go ahead and start the duel. There are 10 prompts that must be completed as quickly as possible. You will have 10 seconds to navigate to the page specified in the prompt. The fastest one wins. Who doesn't love a little friendly competition? Turn to the, to the third, third week, week in September. September. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, I'm already done. Oh, phew. Okay, I didn't even make it in 10 seconds, and you made it in like seven. Okay, next one. Turn, Turn to, to the, the second, second week, week in January. January. Uh, that was about the same as the first one. Eesh. Turn, Turn to, to the, the tab, tab page for, for November. November. Uh, the tab is hiding under all the others. Wow, that was like two seconds for me. I was faster that time because of the tab. Turn, Turn to, to the, the last week, week in December. December. Well, at least I started in November. It still took me the whole 10 seconds. I feel like if I go any faster that I'll tear the pages. Really? I can just like jump to any week I want on this one page. Okay, next one. Turn to, to the, the March, March month overview. overview. Hey, I made it! Yay! Turn, Turn to, to the, the extras, extras tab. tab. In one tap, in one second. <sighs> I'm thinking it always takes me the full 10 seconds. Turn to the first, first week, week in, in July. July. Well, first week is easier to get to. Yeah. Turn to the last week in October. Wow, you really didn't make it that time. <laughs> you really... Yeah, you took the full 10 seconds and then some. <laughs> Turn, Turn to, to the May month, month overview. Yeah, this is a whole lot faster. <laughs> yeah, mine's taking like the whole 10 seconds every single time. Okay, this is the last prompt. Turn, Turn to, to the, the February month, month overview. Yay, you did it in like half the time this time. That was a lot faster, but you still beat me. You did it in three seconds, and I did it in like five. Just about. Okay, well, that shows that definitely the digital planner is much faster. 
Yeah, yours definitely took the entire 10 seconds on almost every prompt. Yeah, every. So now let's test the speed of adding a to-do list page. Okay, let's add an extra page to the first week of July. Okay, first week of July. Ready? for us to fill out the to-do list for the day with the same priorities. To start, I have to grab my three pens, a black, a red, and a pink highlighter. that this planner is a lot bigger than your iPad. And when I'm writing, I'm running over in the box. I don't have room. I have such big handwriting. Well, I can actually zoom in on the page and it'll scale my handwriting when I do that. So mine won't run over the little box. favorite things to use when I want to highlight in GoodNotes is it autocorrects my lines to be straight. fun. Yeah, here are some things we noticed from our experiment here. The digital planner is definitely faster. Yes, mine was so slow, really, compared to yours. It even holds my place when I turn off the app or close it. Yeah, if I close my planner, I have to flip back open to the same spot where I wanted before, but it's really hard to find where I was. Yeah, and I can't really mess up my planner because I can always erase and I can scale my handwriting to fit the fields, which works for both my iPad and my iPhone. And if I want to use a pen, I can't even, I can't erase pen and I don't want to use pencil, so I can't change things easily. So I've really got to be accurate when I'm filling this out. Mm -hmm. All my pen colors are in my one Apple pencil, so I only really need one pen. Yeah, I have to have three just for three colors, but if I wanted to color code and have a system that was more varied, I've got to carry like five, six pens. Mm -hmm. And adding extra pages is easy. I can add as many as I want just by copying and pasting. I was so jealous of all your little tapping over there. Adding pages <laughs> is difficult. I mean, pulling it out and putting it back in, I didn't want to tear the pages. I knew I wasn't, but 
I want to take good care of my planner. Yeah. (laughs) I definitely like the digital better. Yes, I do too. (laughs) 